Mahaj, you look good. You look good. Thank you very much. I am a happy man. You know, I didn't even notice when I left this morning. And why would you notice her? I mean, she has a job. She has to go to her job. Besides, we're not married. So, why you accepted her? I would have been a fool not to have accepted her. She has all the qualities I desire in a woman. That's good. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. Uh, why? Why are you happy? Is it because I slept with her? <laughs> Listen. So, so what? Isn't that the same thing you've been doing all the while I was wishing I was you? Hey, 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 man. Come down. Chill, chill. I'm happy for you. And what was that for? Well, um, I've just been thinking how you, you've suddenly changed. What are you talking about? Welcome to the real world. You're about to find the kind of stuff women are made of. Well, I've never heard you complain about them before. Well, I've discovered that ever since. But I just don't want you being hypertentive. Look, you know what? You need to get into the car. Let me drop you off at your mechanics. I'm tired of dropping you off at work. There we okay? go again. There yes. we go again. I mean, come on. Every day, the same old story. Yes. Come on, look. I'm going to get my car off the garage yeah. sometimes, okay? Real quick. I told you about Sandra, right? Yeah, I like her, no doubt, okay, but I'm, I'm not even acting out yet. Why? I mean, you two make a good couple. Come on, I was waiting for you. I thought you wanted her. <laughs> I have Anne now, remember. So you're searching about that. You want me to go after Sandra? Yeah, go ahead. I'm happy for you. Please. Really? Yeah, you have my permission. Just go ahead. Okay, then. <clears throat> I know the boys in my card. <laughs> <laughs> I was in front of our door, knocking the door, you know, with the intention of, of going down on my knees and telling her how much I, 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 I loved her. And there she was, not open, opening that door. She made a great mistake. And not I mean, worst of all, she's not even taking my calls. Why wouldn't she take my calls? Am I the worst in this world? She made a great mistake by not opening that door. Thank you. Why wouldn't she open that door? Huh? I mean, I, I would have gone on my knees. I would, I would have told her how much I, I, I loved her. And, and, uh, you, you don't know, get it, do you? Huh? I, I don't get what? What I mean is that she made a great mistake by not opening that door. Because if I were to be in her shoe, I would have opened that door with a bucket of hot water. Uh -huh. a, a bucket of a bucket of hot water for what? Which I would have emptied on your head. A bucket of hot water on my head. But whose side are you? Huh? You blow hot today, you blow cold tomorrow. I'm on the side of a woman who deserves the best. But has been sharply treated. Look. I'm not going to give up on you because you're my friend. If by the end of this week, you do not clear up this mess, I will take control. I will so take control and handle that matter the way I so did. God! Which one are you, Seth? Huh? Which one do you want now? Huh? You want your own. Tell us. I'm making, uh, making the whole thing look like, come. People like you make things difficult for me. But yeah, you maybe I actually think with this deep time. I'm tired! Just 
explain to me what's going on. What's going on is I have a crush on you. Fine, and you just couldn't come and tell me yourself? But I just said it. After allowing Miss Anne and Mr. Lucky to systematically work on me. I don't get it. Look, don't pretend that you had nothing to do with this. Can you just tell me it was your plan? Plan what? Look, I might look naive, but trust me, I'm no fool. Listen, I have no idea on what you're talking about, believe me. So, it wasn't your idea? This is news to me. Miss Anne just came in, and she was just telling me about how much you cared about me and how much you were a good guy. <laughs> she even went as far as to tell me that she wishes she could trade places with me. This is amazing, you know? Are you sure this was not your plan? Believe me, I have no idea, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. So what did Mr. Lucky say? Well, Mr. Lucky came in. He was just extremely happy, considering how long he was sulking for. He was extremely smug and sure of himself. He even said that he wants me to come over to have dinner with you guys, including Miss Anne, this weekend. All right. That concludes it. Concludes what? It's a conspiracy. Believe me, you don't want to know the details. I'm trying to. So, what's your own conclusion? About what? About us. You haven't said anything. Okay, then, um, why don't we hang out this weekend? <laughs> Are you asking me out? Yes. <laughs> I'm a lady. Ask me nicely. <laughs> <laughs> better reason I shouldn't go for that guy? Yes, actually, I have a dilemma. If it's about Edeo, it's going to be very boring. I have something more exciting to do out there. Edeo is history. I've decided to move on. Good! Tell me, please. I think it's more exciting. Yeah, I thought you wanted to go outside and speak to this guy. <laughs> no, no. You know, Anything that's going to take your mind away from me is what's hearing. Okay, <laughs> that's why I love hanging out with you. Okay, a devil is history, as I said before, and I've decided to go on a date. With who? Mm, well, my boss and his friend. Your boss? I thought you said... No, 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 well, actually, I'm going out with Kelechi, who's actually my boss's friend. And the chairman's daughter is coming with us as well. Can you imagine? She actually is the one that invited me. This is exciting. Have fun, my love. Life is too short. Enjoy it. So do you think I should go? Hell yes. I vote for yes. You need to give a devil a long space. I'm sure he has gotten himself another woman. It's taken me so long to just accept the truth. Thank God you now know. You see, this is a very, very exciting news. But you know what? I've got something more exciting. I can't let that dude walk away from me. Hmm. Sometimes I get scared that that girl will charm my boyfriend and take him away from me. Well, it's not like I have a boyfriend anymore, anyway. Um, waiter. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine with you. Okay.
stuff. I told you. I told you. You thought I was lying. You thought I was just lying to discredit her. Now you see. The bitch you're itching to get back has long left you. See, listen to me, let me tell you. She's screwing her boss. And now her boss's friend. By the time she's done, who knows next? Enough. Hey, hey, you don't yell back at me, you fool. What? Yes, you had me. I offered you myself. But no. Now you want to go get back that cheap slot. Go ahead. Go and get her. Or whatever is left of her. After they would have had the best or the better piece of her. You have the remain. And where are you going to? Home. Oh. When you are done crying over your sorry ass, let me know. Perhaps I'll be available then. In the office, Nick and I are your boss. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. um, Anne, we're not in the office. And besides, I came here to see my boyfriend. Yeah. As I'm sure you came to do the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. 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 All right. Um, this is how we'll settle it. Um, Sandra, you, you, you cook lunch, okay? While Anne. We'll take over the kitchen in the evening. Yeah. No, she can cook lunch. I'd rather make dinner. I would gladly make dinner. Oh, come on. What difference does it really make? Well, the difference is I'm having champagne. And at this point, I just want to take my bedroom. And what makes you think I don't want to take my boyfriend to the bedroom right now? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Bravo, bravo. Well spoken, girlfriend. So then, why don't you just go straight into the room? <laughs> no, boyfriend. The only place I'm going to now is the kitchen. Kitchen? Mm-hmm. Hey. So sorry, sir, but you have to learn. <coughs> Women are peacocks. Treat us nicely, and you see our true beauty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen, um, Romeo, you know I'm always on your side, right? So this is what you're going to do. Um, why don't you, you know, go help her in the kitchen? Um, you know, cut some tomatoes or something. You know, <laughs> that's what you're good for right now. I forgot to say that, you teaser. I can't wait no longer. Here goes lunch. I can't wait for dinner. <laughs> Of course, I like everything you do to me. 
Minecraft new game. Do you want to kill me? Look, I'm hungry. There's food in the kitchen. Really? Mm. <laughs> yeah. After food. No. No, they be, no, 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 no. I, I know no stop. After food, really after food. Get it out. Look, get what out. Look, you want to kill me? What's your problem? After food. After, after food. After food. Look, stop. Get it out. Look, after food. She didn't cook lunch. He wouldn't let her. What has come over the two of them? I didn't even see their faces, but from the sound of their voices, they don't sound too happy with us. But why? I don't know. But I think they're jealous of us. For God's sake. Why? Maybe she likes you. Come on, that's crazy. She, she can't like me. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Don't tell me Lucky still has something for you. He's never stopped liking me. quickly respond to your man's urgent need. That's natural. I'm wondering. Unless, of course, you were the one who wanted him badly. No. We wanted each other. Tell me. Girl to girl. Is he excited in bed? <laughs> He is the best. Oh, he's just so romantic. Oh, and he's got so much energy. Mm. Oh, and he's so big. <laughs> Tell her that I'm sorry. 
I've never at any time ceased loving her. Of course you know that. Huh? So. Just calm down. She could be anywhere. Her battery could be down. Please spare me all this battery. What, what, what? Don't, don't patronize me. What, what which you battery from where now? Huh? What is battery doing with what we're doing? What, what battery? When we all know that, you know, she's out there. She's in the hands of another man. <laughs> Don't you think she deserves to be happy? I beg you, spare me your own, eh? Just, I beg. Look, a woman needs love, just like you. She has been around you all those while, but you never appreciated okay. her. Now I appreciate her now. I appreciate now. <sighs> See, I brought you here to, to come and help me locate Sandra and bring her back to me. Not to come and make things worse for me. Ah, please. She's out there now. Another man is... No, in fact, I don't even want to talk about another man touching her. I'm so jealous. I don't want to think about it at all. Ha! Another man touching... No, 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 please. Yeah. See. See. Just look at her, whatever it takes. Bring her back to me. Please, just tell her I'm sorry. Like I'll always say to you, if I was in her shoe, I would never, I mean, I would never have anything to do with you. But you are not in her shoes now. Huh? Please. Okay, fine. I will... I mean, I will help you convince her. Although I'm not promising any, I mean, anything, I'm not promising you anything. Oh, Just. This is not a matter of you're not promising now. Right? Yeah, you're the only friend I have that would this one. But hmm? I warned you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please, yeah, please. I will just help you, that's what I said. I will but try you, my but best. You know I love Where's your girl? I want to help Anne out in the kitchen. So, how was she? How do you mean? Of course you know what I mean. I mean, does her sexual actions uh, complement her looks? It's amazing to know how sex can change a man. Look at you. You already changed. <laughs> Sound like a master now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Keep laughing at me. Go ahead. Remind me I used to be slow with the women. Go ahead. No, no, it's, uh, it's not like I'm laughing, okay? No, you are actually laughing, so go ahead and amuse yourself. Go on. Uh, wait a minute. When you said I should go ahead with Sandra, did you actually mean it? And what's that supposed to mean? No, I, I don't know. I just have this... Hey, 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 listen, don't even go there, okay? Um, um, look, I'm, 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 ha I'm happy for you. Uh, believe me, I, I, I'm, I'm really ha happy for you guys. Ready? Good. I believe you then. I really appreciate you accepting to see me. Apparently, you do have an idea of what I want to discuss with you. A day well, I'm guessing. You're right. Look, Sandra, what is going on? I mean, what's happening? As I speak to you right now, he is dying gradually out of his foolishness, I must admit. I've died a thousand times, trying to prove to him that he means the world to me. I have cried a river, begging him 
to just let me show him that he can trust me as his woman. I have never loved another man the way I loved him. He was the man of my dreams. But he disappointed me. I've moved on. Until we lose something, we don't realize how important that means to us. Look, Sandra. Edewa has realized his mistakes. I is willing and ready to settle down. Really? Yes. Well, I thought he'll be a playboy forever. What can I say? I'm happy for him. I wish him all the best. I'm even happy for him and his new girlfriend. Look, Sandra. What I mean is that his heart cannot accommodate another beside you. He wants you back. I don't know. I, I'm. I feel important. I'm excited, but things have changed. I have never betrayed him in the three years and two months that we spent together. The times have really changed. I've found someone new. I have a new man. I can't compromise my happiness. Isn't it safer being with a man you know too well and be able to manage than stepping into the unknown where perhaps all you see is illusion? A weak mind is always afraid of challenges. I can't go back on my vomit. If I fail, I'll try again and again until I find exactly what I'm looking for. I deserve happiness. Yeah, you do. Come on, let's drink. Until we lose something, we don't realize how important that means to us. Look, Sandra. Edewa has realized his mistakes. I is willing and ready to settle down. Really? Yes. Well, I thought he'll be a playboy forever. What can I say? I'm happy for him. I wish him all the best. I'm even happy for him and his new girlfriend. Look, Sandra. What I mean is that his heart cannot accommodate another beside you. He wants you back. I don't know. I, I'm. I feel important. I'm excited, but things have changed. I have never betrayed him in the three years and two months that we spent together. The times have really changed. I've found someone new. I have a new man. I can't compromise my happiness. Isn't it safer being with a man you know too well and be able to manage than stepping into the unknown where perhaps all you see is illusion? A weak mind is always afraid of challenges. I can't go back on my vomit. If I fail, I'll try again and again until I find exactly what I'm looking for. I deserve happiness. Yeah, you do. Come on, let's drink. Of the youth. The wine of the youth floats in you and Anne. Exciting, intoxicating, yet very dangerous. Tell me, what are your plans for the future? Well, it depends, sir. Depends on what? On when she's ready, sir. Have you asked her? Hmm? Tell me. Perhaps she's just waiting for you to make the move. Um, I, I just felt I should give her more time. Let me tell you something, my boy. 
women are like children. They swing between moods so easily. See, son. Anne is my daughter, and I have never seen her this excited. Ask her to marry you. Tell her she's exciting. Take her out. Just go. Go anywhere. Well, just come back to me with good news, hmm? Uh -huh. um, well, well, thank you very much, sir. I hear you loud and clear. Um, I'd like to go back to my office now. I have some unfinished work. <laughs> Acting funny? How? My goodness, how could you be staring at her like that? <laughs> Why did you staring at her? <laughs> Come on. I'm... Look, I wasn't staring. No. I must be blind then. Now you listen to me. You'd better stay away from that girl. If you arouse my anger, I'm certainly sure you will not like what you see. Look, I wasn't staring, really. <laughs> Look, I wasn't staring. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Okay, I confess I was there. I was there, yes. But, but come on, she, she means nothing to me. She's Richard's girl. Yeah. Just don't do it again. I promise I won't. I got you, girl. I got you. Let's go back and sit here. Oh, yeah. He's still upset. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't you look that way. I'm not looking that no, way. Look, I'm, not, I'm not looking that away. way. Get away. Come look. here. Get away. Alright, I'm following you. I'm just going to have my eyes on you, okay? Only you. Don't touch me. Don't ever do that. Get away. You've got the right places. I know. Two right places. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go. Baby, why are you bringing me to the guest room? The thing is, I don't want Loki to see us. Yeah, but you've not answered my question yet. So tell me. How many children would you like to have? I'll answer that question when the time comes. Come on. Couples plan their lives, don't they? Are you proposing to me? Okay, suppose I am. Then I'll say no. Why? This is just the most unromantic way to propose to a woman. Hmm. Okay, then. All right. <laughs> Yes, I will. Ever since you came into this house, I knew you were going to be my wife. <laughs> Sandra cannot do this to me. After all I have done to try to reach out to her, she's not going to leave me. It's not possible. She will come back to you. I know that. If? Yes. Did you say if mm. she's mine? Of course she's mine. And she's going to come back. 
Look, I cannot live without Sandra. That is the truth. But until you compose yourself and think straight, you can never win her back. So be yourself. Seriously, I, I, I am so scared. I am so scared. I have lost her. I am so scared. Look, man's worst enemy is fear of the unknown. Relax, come on. Perhaps this is the lesson for you to learn how not to talk with women's emotion. Yeah, yeah. Calm down, okay? And I'm learning it the hard way. That's true. Just calm down. You will be fine, okay? Calm down. Listen, I... Thank you for... for what you've done so far. Um, and I know... You tried your best in the past to make believe right, but I didn't listen. But I'm friends first. Okay? Let's go there, so. Let's go with them, okay? They'll be fine. How can you do this to me? What are you talking about? What are you saying? Look, you proposed without letting me know. Now I look like a fool. Listen, it was meant to be a surprise. Surprise? Surprise? Listen, I was supposed to propose to Anne, okay? But now she's upset because I waited long. Come on, it's not, it's not, it's still not too late. You can, you can still propose to her. I can imagine, man, the two of us proposing to our girls the same night. It's gonna be fun. Excuse me? She will still be mad because she will feel I'm proposing because you proposed first. What's wrong with you? You keep doing this all the time. Hey, 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 man. This is ridiculous. Is there any competition between us? Stranger towards me. What happened? Do you know that he stormed out in anger after you ran in to announce our engagement? I didn't even notice. I mean, I was so excited. Yeah, I yeah. know. Is he not happy for us? But I don't know. He just got furious, maybe because I didn't tell him first. And I also think that he wanted to propose to Anne. But our engagement shouldn't change anything. You know, Sometimes I wonder if, I mean, if it's truly a friend. Honey, don't you think it's about time we moved out of this place? Yeah. Mm. I've been seriously thinking about it. You can move in with me tomorrow. No. Mm -hmm. No, no. I know it's not right, right? Come on, don't pretend you know what happened. All right? So, when the right time comes, we we'll definitely announce our moving out. Good? Okay. Alright. So you're good? Come a little bit. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> 